I honestly have no idea if I'm going to finish. I don't know whose idea this was. Yep, that's me. Completely cooked, 100 miles into the longest ride I've ever undertaken. What on earth was I thinking? My brother just said, why the f are you doing this? I'm praying for you. <laughs> Roughly three months and two days ago, I threw my name into the hat to try and ride the Steamboat Gravel Race in the heart of the Rockies. And it wasn't just any of the four loops that you could choose from, but the longest one, 224 kilometer gravel loop. Up until now, my longest ride is 180 kilometers, a massive 44 kilometers shorter. But lucky enough, I've had some help with my training along the way. Plus, when we mentioned this to our mates at Ribble, they were super keen to get involved too. So with training in hand and a bike in another, I have very little reason to back out now. Half an hour before the start of the race, bike is all prepped, I'm all prepped, got so much food in my back pockets. That's all I have to do now is eat the food and ride my bike. I physically can't fit any more food in my back pocket. So yeah, so final little preparations now to get ready and then head to the start line. <laughs> Yikes. It's starting to feel real now. Still got quite a while to the start, but I'd line up early. To start, I got quite a good position on the grid. I got there, I'd say I was maybe like 150 people back from the start, uh, which was quite good. And then we had the first bit, which was neutralized, which it was okay. There was just a lot of people everywhere. And when I get in that situation, I get very competitive. I'm like, oh, I need to get to the front. I don't know why I needed to get to the front in the neutral section, but I felt the need. So I kind of got quite close to the front. Um, and then as soon as we hit the gravel, that was like, yeah, it all just started to string out. So I knew it was going to be dusty because we on gravel, but literally after that first gravel section, I was covered in dust. My bike was filthy. Keeping my heart rate a little bit higher than it should, so I found myself quite a nice big group to sit in now, so just trying to wheel stack as best as I can, but less than 200k to go, that's good. <laughs> So the kilometers are slowly ticking down. 45 kilometers in, I've just stopped at a uh, feed zone. Thought I'd better get some water just in case. But yeah, everybody kind of split up the feed. So kind of on my own a little bit now. But yeah, 45K down. Can't do the maths to however many are to go, but I'm just gonna keep pedaling and the kilometers are gonna tick down slowly. Just had some single track. That was very bumpy and fun. Almost like a cyclocross race but back on the smooth tarmac now, but I can't believe how like disgusting it is already. So much like 
dust. I mean, look at the state of the bike. Where are they? to go. Wow. You do need to keep on checking in with yourself. Like sometimes you can forget how far you have to go. So yeah, I mean, two, two hours, 38 minutes in already. Um, just need to keep on riding at my own pace. It's quite hard to be with a group and they're pushing a little bit out of your comfort zone. You're like, Oh, if I could just stay with them a little bit longer, it'd be good. But you're better off. Just kind of ride at your own pace. Slow and steady definitely wins the race in this case. Now you're probably wondering, what is this bike I'm riding? Well, you can't actually see because of all the dust. So. And plus I haven't got the energy to tell you right now. So here's something I prepared a little bit earlier. Yep, I knew I would be a little bit too tired to tell you about my bike, but this is Ribble's Pure Gravel Machine. The Ribble Gravel SL. It's fast, it's responsive, it's light. It's pretty much everything I need for this event. It's got a carbon frame. Another really cool thing about Ribble is that all the components are completely changeable. So if you want a different size stem or different size handlebars, you can do that. Whereas a lot of other bike brands, you kind of get what you're given. So that's another really cool thing. I've also got 650 B wheels on here with 47 mil fast tires. The bike, you can get it with 700 C wheels, but I've opt opted for 650. The size of the frame is extra small. Uh, what else have I got? Nice flared handlebars for a bit extra comfort. So they're going to be really good for this long ride. I've got a SRAM Rival Group Set one by with a nice big granny ring on the back, which I'm going to be very thankful for. And I'm definitely going to need going up those hills. This bike also has a load of mountain points to put bags on if you're going adventure riding, you want to strap your tent on, your sleeping bag, which hopefully I'm not going to need. Hopefully it's not going to be an overnight job, but I'm actually going to count how many mounts there are. So one, two, 20, 21 mountain points. You can fit your whole kitchen sink on this bike if you wanted to. And the last little cool detail, I've got my tire setup tubeless and you might have seen these nice little cool flashy pink muck off valves. Do like that. Very nice. But now back to future Manon suffering in the race. God help you Manon. Hang on halfway. And I feel like this is really where, where it starts. That last 100K was in my comfort zone. From here on in, not in my comfort zone, and I can feel it already. Woo! Have you eaten a grasshopper? I haven't eaten one, I really don't want to. They're so big. They're evil, they're like little birds. They're absolutely everywhere, and when you're suffering, and you've got your mouth open, oh, it's not a good, it's not a good combination. Yeah, I'd one in my ear hole then. Right, save your energy. No screaming. Black horse, black horse, right there. Black horse. Oh, oh that's so good. Oh, one more? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, that's good. Right, I'm ready to go. Woo. So I've just come out of the feed zone and the plan was, you know, to take a minute, go to the toilet, have some snacks, sort my back pockets out. What did I do? 
I just grabbed some water and ran. I don't know why, but I just panicked. I was like, oh my God, I need to go. But on the next one, make sure I stop. <laughs> oh. This turned out to be a bigger mistake than I first thought. This is a really hard bit of gravel road and I feel like I've almost hit a wall and there's still a long way to go. A little bit worried. There was a point I was like, I'm not gonna make it to the finish. Um, I was really struggling. Every single pedal stroke hurt. I didn't want to pedal. And it was all like a really gradual uphill. There was that one bit of road that just killed me off. And I don't know what it is. It wasn't anything steep. It was just a really draggy gravel road. And I found it really hard. My head was falling off. My legs were falling off. I couldn't sit down. I just needed to get off the bike. It's really starting to kick in now. And it's getting to that point where I just don't want to eat. I just, I just feel sick. And it's like shoving food down you. It's not pleasant, but if it gets me to the finish line, that's what I have to do. But I'm full on in survival mode now. Just pedaling. I can hardly keep my hand up to hold this camera. It feels like it weighs a ton. I'm gonna have to turn it off. I could not wait to get to that feed zone. And every other feed zone before that, I kind of stopped for like a few minutes, got some water and got straight back. But this one, I was like, I need to get off my bike. I need to have a sit down. I need to reevaluate the situation and then go from there. Oh my God. <laughs> Whose idea was this? I honestly have no idea if I'm going to finish. I quite, I actually quite like pickles, so I'm hoping this is going to give me. I don't actually know what's meant to do, but everybody raves on about pickles and pickle juice and gravel, so here we go. Ooh. Mmm. Hi, Caramba. Before that feed stop, it was very touch and go. You know, when you're just pedaling, so all you want to do is stop and every single pedal stroke hurts and every bump in the road really makes me angry. I do feel a lot better now. I definitely needed that, but once the last 40 miles, oh God, I hope I can make it. The weather has just all of a sudden turned. It's got very gray, very cloudy, which is actually quite nice because it was so hot before. I wouldn't mind a little bit of a, a shower. I'd be very welcome right now.
finally got my pickles. Is it really weird that I really like them? So, finishing stretch now. So I've got a pickle in my mouth, but I'm gonna get going so I don't stop for too long on my legs or my legs will stop. <coughs> oh, that pickle. I've now officially made it past the longest I've ever ridden, 193 kilometers in the bag. Not too long to go now, but um, this might be a little bit too much information, but my bottom is very sore. Whoa, multitasking. Um, this gravel thing is not for the faint hearted. You have to be hard, strong. You can tell I'm f***ed now because I'm talking absolute shit. Officially into the last 20 kilometers and whew, it's touch and go. One minute I feel okay, the next I'm like, wow. My head's like, I'm gonna get off this bike right now. Oh, and every single little incline, so painful. It was probably like the last like 6K of the race that I realized that I've actually, I am gonna finish this and I am gonna actually do it. I don't think it like kicked in till then. And I think like coming into this race, I had a lot of worry and doubt just because it's the unknown. I've never done anything like this before at this distance, especially on gravel. Um, so it was, it was quite an emotional finish. I was quite proud of myself. Um, and yeah, it was definitely an achievement. It just goes to show that our bodies are a lot more capable than we think, or we shouldn't doubt ourselves. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Um, the event for me in a sentence. It was an emotional roller coaster, but a very enjoyable one. And now that I finish and I've had a little bit of time to recover, I, it's been some very good memories and I'd like to do it again. <laughs>